One week after Western diplomats concluded that Iran had finally turned down the UN's proposal on its surrender of nuclear material, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad appeared to sound a much more conciliatory tone. Appealing to his harder line political rivals, the president said Iran should be willing to send its low enriched uranium abroad in a swap for more highly enriched fuel for medical use. Some people made a fuss about it, but there's no problem. We will seal a contract and we'll give you 3.5% uranium to enrich to 20 percent levels in four or five months and return it to us. We will seal a contract. Some people say that that won't happen, they won't return it. But I said we're producing it anyway, and even if they don't return it, what will happen? His comments reiterating Ahmadinejad's previously expressed stand comes after the New Year's deadline that the UN negotiating group had set before moving on to tougher sanctions against the Islamic Republic. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's spokesman said that process will take some time, but sanctions are still in the works. I, I think she's frustrated with the, the Iranian response and, and it, it's uh, their unwillingness or inability uh, you know, to engage us seriously on the nuclear issue and on other regional issues. He added that any new Iranian nuclear offer should be delivered to the proper address the International Atomic Energy Agency. A day after Ahmadinejad predicted the early end of U.S. capitalism, the U.S. vice president had his own forecast for Iran. They're sowing the seeds of their own destruction in terms of being able to hold on to power. We are moving with the world, including Russia and others, to put sanctions on them. I think that uh, we've moved in the right direction in a measured way that's going to end up, uh, we're going to end up much better off than we, w we would have if we tried to go in there and just uh, physically change the regime. As for reports that the U.S. is helping Iran's Gulf neighbors bolster their air defense systems, Iran responded with scorn. Countries in the region should know that this puppet show by the U.S., while claiming to create security in the region, is nothing except a new political ploy. At the same time, Ahmadinejad signaled that Iran is willing to release three American hikers awaiting trial since July in exchange for Iranians jailed in the U.S. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.